Okay, my name is Marcus. Um, I learned the power of subject two, especially in today's like competitive world. Like you need to really give your sellers options, and you know the cash offer. Is, it's harder to do a cash offer, especially with you know the way the market is now. And then you have your lease options, and then subject two is just another trick in the bag, and it kind of opens a whole other section of properties that you didn't even think you could do. Got you. So. All right, what else you learned? Look on that list. Tell me um, what else you learned. Okay, um, how you wholesale to like higher end properties and how it opens the door to create financing. Awesome, awesome. So we're gonna pass the mic. I'm gonna give the mic. That's on. Who else is up? Who's next? Who wants to share? There you go. Here you go, Sean. And when you hold the microphone, everyone, just so you know, the proper way to hold the microphone is close. The mic is right here on the top. Let the world know that you're alive. <laughs> Okay, hi, my name is Sharon. The most important thing I learned was mindset and the asking powerful questions. That's like so important. Also learning the MACO formula, which made it so easy to make offers. <laughs> and then a uh, stainless steel package, dent and scratch for $2,000. I'm like, what, really? Okay, that's a great one. Yeah. And then the cash versus ROI buyer. I didn't know that before. Got you. Yeah, those are some cool things right there. Good yeah. stuff, good stuff. Who wants to share next? All right, that was close. Awesome. <laughs> Low commute. Sorry. Say your name. Um, hi, I'm Risha, and um, I think the most important thing for me was just uh, keeping the why in the forefront. Um, and I think that is really what I need to just stay focused and to stay motivated and understand why am I here. Awesome. I'm moving forward. How did that make you feel in, in, in getting clarity on that? Yeah, I feel like that, that can help me um, maintain my momentum. And it, you know, it just felt like, yeah, that's what I'm, well, that's why I keep falling down. Got it. Wow. Was that powerful? Yep. So this is what I'm talking about here. Like she's just getting true and authentic and saying like that, like we went over a lot of stuff, but she, the personal development part was like, Keep him that, that wide, clear. Awesome, make him feel awesome. Give us a round of applause. All right, who's next? All right, Dean is in the building. Yes, hi, my name is Dean. Uh, the biggest thing, I, my bingo today was that as a realtor, um, I can look for deals outside of my own business. Woohoo! yo, make him feel good, that's you! Um, and that it doesn't, you know, as long as I had the system in place, it is, you know, this today really simplified the uh, process for me. Awesome. And uh, I was hesitant to kind of go into this, but now I'm open on so. My God, you, oh, tomorrow, we're gonna talk more about it. It is gonna, it's gonna be crazy. Yeah. All right, who, who wants to share next? Ooh, Carrie Brown. Carrie Brown, the lovely Carrie Brown with that. <laughs> Hello, darling. Hello. Never be afraid to ask, because if you don't ask, you cannot get it. You must ask first. Awesome. Um, Awesome deals are created. Woohoo! That's what's up. <laughs> Learn from the best. Yeah. And there's a time for harvest of everything. Nice. Nice. Awesome. All right. Who's next? All right. Say so your name. The name is Mitch. And what I uh, what I got out of today is there's very concrete uh, opportunity. Uh, as much as I was hoping for. And secondly, there's even a greater need for strong risk management to do deals right and make sure that you dot your I's and cross your T's. Awesome, great job. I like how he was passing it to you, so I might as well let you go. <laughs> okay, my... <laughs> he was like, and here you go. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was volunteered uh, by Mitch. <laughs> Apparently. Uh, attitude, uh, my name's Doug, by the way. Uh, well, we, you started out with the attitude that's required to be in this, to succeed in this, in this industry. Yeah. In this industry. Um, you went over some requirements and some tools that are necessary to get you going. That you, you need to have a successful business. Um, some creative financing examples were um, useful. Um, for vacant properties and taking over properties, payments. 
may go. We got a lot. Yeah. What was the biggest one? Uh, then I want to dive deeper into this. Awesome. That's what's up. That's what's up. Great. Thank I'm you. happy for you. Who else? All right, we're gonna go. We're going down. All right. See, they started the thing. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Malik. Hey, Malik. Um, key thing I learned today was, you know, when you think you're at a ten. Sometimes you're oper operating at like a five or less, <laughs> which, is, which is big, you know. Um, and and the other thing I learned is that you know um, this subject too can help a lot of people in different situations. You know what I mean? Um, and that there are questions that you need to ask in order to really be able to uh, provide a service to whom you choose to serve. Gotcha. Those are my tips. Gotcha. Cool. All right, go ahead. I ain't mad at you. <laughs> my name is Justin. Um, Justin is in the building. The biggest my point I had, or the biggest thing that I got, was the same thing along the same lines that Marcus said, where uh, there's so much untapped potential out there in the market and leads left behind because we, a lot of people don't understand as an investor anything other than a cash offer. And there's all these uh, subject to creative financing strategies. Uh, a couple of other things I wrote down were how to speak to and what to ask a motivated seller in terms of how to get a creative financing deal, uh, solve one problem at a time, and master your own mind first. Awesome. That's awesome. Oh, we got somebody jumping on there. Okay. I like Anthony. I like jumping in. Hi, my name is Anthony. Um, being that I'm new uh, really to this side of you. Investing period. Uh, these are new concepts to me, and maybe I don't understand it all completely. It'll take maybe a couple days. But we began our meetup today with um, the phrase "create massive value for others," and I found that if I can really contemplate that notion and really emotionalize it, mentalize it, these concepts and new strategies can come to me even easier. Awesome. That's great. Getting it in. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, it just it was good because it went more in depth to, with me um, on how to structure the creative uh, finance deals and how to uh, talk to the sellers. Got it. And uh, that was it. I, I, you know, went in a little bit more detail. Cool. All right. The microphone is lying to him. <laughs> Hi everybody, my name is Eric, um, and today's workshop I first learned that great deals are created. Awesome um, deals are created. Exactly. And but we just sometimes we don't know about it, you know, we have to look outside and think more broad, particularly by finding out what the, the seller needs, um, rather than just having this preconceived notion in our heads of what we want. Um, so basically about creating massive value for the person first, um, before thinking of yourself and uh, asking powerful questions to really get um, the right answers. Awesome. Make them feel good. Word up. Who else is? Yes, sir. Uh, my name is Jamel, and uh, I have been around for a while. I just, <laughs> I just want to give an advice to people who are studying real estate, and you're collecting a lot of information from Jason. It's a lot of information, it's a great information, and he is a guy who has a lot of experience. I just want to let you know, whatever information that you are getting or reading or getting from Jason that has behind experience, learn that every info that you are getting, if you learn it in an hour, it will need five to 10 hours to practice and to become proficient in the info that he is giving. So there is a lot of work that you must do to really uh, gain the skills that Jason has. Uh, so don't treat this info just like a story, like hopes, like someone wanna just get uh, motivated and feel good for the weekend, then leave for every piece of info that you are getting. There is a lot of work behind it. If you don't commit to it, then you would be wasting everything. So, good luck to all of you. Be in action. Be in action. Awesome. Cool.
Who else do we have here? We cover everybody? Everyone that wants to speak. So guys, uh, my name is Christian. Uh, what I got out of the uh, first day of the seminar was to always uh, be a master of your mind. Time and uh, circumstances, circumstances change everything. And also to uh, uh, how to val um, calculate properties uh, and uh, to never come to, to calculate a property without nothing, without no resources. Good job. <laughs> so, never look up in the ceiling. You're not going to find anything. That's right. Good job. Awesome. Anybody else? All right. I like it. She's selling me the house, she said. Hi, my name is Sweet. What Sweet. I love this part today is owner financing. That is a brilliant idea. Yeah. Helping the homeowner to achieve their goal, paying their debt, they don't have any bad credit, they still own a home, basically, and you also help the, the new buyer to get into a home without finding a hot ladder that need a lot of requirements. So that is brilliant. Awesome. Like yeah. Good job. Good job. All right. So we are going to wrap it up, that part right there. And thank you. <laughs>